Okay, hey, let's use these identities now to solve a problem. Let's suppose secant u is negative 3 over 2 and tangent u is square root of, is just greater than 0, meaning tangent is positive. To find all six of our trig functions. Well, remember up here, I don't know whether the negative is the, the 3 or the 2. Well, I kind of do because uh, secant is like r over x and r is never ever negative when we're working on these problems. So I know the 2 is the one that has to be negative just thinking about it. But let's assume we don't know that. So first off, we're going to use the reciprocal identity. Cosine is equal to what? 1 over secant. So secant is negative 3 halves. So I have 1 over negative 3 halves. And how do you do that? Remember, upside down, you're turning me, giving love instinctively. Little Diana Ross, you multiply by the reciprocal, which would give me a negative 2 thirds. Well, I'm going to use the Pythagorean identity now to find sine. Remember, sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. Well, what would happen if I minus the cosine squared from each side? That one would cancel, and I would have this. Yeah, I could do that. So then sine squared would be 1 minus, and if cosine is negative 2 thirds, now be careful, negative 2 thirds times negative 2 thirds is going to be positive 4 ninths. But I've got a minus the 4 ninths, which will give me then a 5 ninths, but I have to square root it. Now, I don't know whether sine is positive or negative, the square root of 5 over 3. But I do know this, because secant is negative and tangent is positive. Well, think about it. Where is secant negative? Secant is negative in quadrants 2 and 3. And tangent is positive in quadrants uh, 2 and 4. So I think you can't. It means this. The x is negative and the y is negative. That is the only way I can get a positive tangent. So tangent is positive in quadrant 3 and secant is negative. So x is negative and the y is negative in order to make that tangent positive. So therefore, I mean, I'm in quadrant three. If I'm in quadrant three, then sine has to be negative. So it's negative square root of five over three. Okay. So I know it's negative. Oh, cosine is that. Tangent, how can I find the tangent? Well, you think about the quotient identity. Sine divided by cosine. Now, what's gonna be nice is, is you really multiply by the reciprocal of the bottom one, but the threes are gonna cancel. So I have a negative 5 over negative 2, which makes a what? Positive square root of 5 over 2. Cosecant is just 1 over sine. Well, I'm going to then what? Reciprocate that one. And I'll have to rationalize it. So I have negative 3 square roots of 5 over 5. Secant was given to me. And then cotangent will be the reciprocal of the tangent, which when I uh, rationalize it, will be 2 square roots of 5 over Five. There, I just found all six trig functions of the second using all these identities in different ways, in different formats. All right.